I'm talking to Michael. Michael, where did you volunteer and what did you do? Uh, we were located in uh, Port Elizabeth in South Africa. I uh, worked in a township in a school and I was allocated to two teachers at Isaac Boy School, uh, two maths teachers. What were the highlights of your trip? Uh, the highlights, I, am, I think, seeing the teachers change their, their way of teaching from just teaching by rote, getting the kids to repeat whatever they said, to engaging the kids and getting them out of their seats and getting them to move around and try and enjoy maths as opposed to just have it force fed. Uh, so one, one uh, highlight was seeing a teacher actually change his style and the other was seeing the enjoyment on the kids' faces when they could be seen to be moved around and not be told off for it. So being allowed to explore and be themselves. And what is the most important piece of advice you would give to potential volunteers? I think you've got to go with an, an open mind and be, be prepared for change. When we went to South Africa, uh, the teachers were going on strike and much as I wanted to go in and uh, teach the kids whilst the teachers were on strike, that was hardly supportive of the teachers. Uh, so you kind of got to be prepared for change, go with an open mind, uh, embrace co local culture, try and get as close to that as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and, and, and just enjoy yourself. Uh, if you're going for four or six weeks, make sure that it seems a long time to start with, but it soon goes. And finally, Michael, why did you choose People and Places? Oh, well, I'd never heard of them, but uh, a friend of a friend uh, gave us their name. She was due to, to do some, but then had to pull out at the last minute, but she gave us their name, and so we contacted them from there. I didn't really know what Responsible Tourism was, and probably still struggling to understand it, but uh, we're halfway there now. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you.